Hey gang, back with another video for you today. And today we're talking about a new house that just uh, launched some fragrances, very exclusive luxury fragrances called Le Monarch. Simply translates to The Monarch. And we have fragrances created by Cecile Zarokian, and Luca Maffei, Stephanie Bakush. We're gonna do first impressions, plus the kit that uh, uh, Ashley's holding up here, you'll have a chance at winning one for yourself, all coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel, you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, participating in giveaways, and still haven't subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So Ashley's back, and we are doing first impressions of this new house, Le Monarch, the Monarch, and they're fragrances that just came out. They're very, very luxury, exclusive fragrances, and we have that giveaway for you as well, so stick around till the end. So what, what do you know about this house? So other than um, the fact that, you know, those three perfumers did the line, apparently it's supposed to be very exclusive, um, using really high quality ingredients in each fragrance. Cool. So I'm a fan of uh, Luca Maffei's fragrances and also Cecile Zarokian. And Stephanie Bakush has done some yeah, well-known... Yeah, she's done um, DCI's um, Invasion Barbar. Invasion Barbar, okay. Yeah. If you want to find out more about Cecile Zarokian and Luca Maffei, I have some interviews with them on the channel. So it looks like we have a, a nicely packaged collection yeah, of fragrances. Pretty. And so these are what they're going to receive in the giveaway, right? You're going to receive a kit, winner. yes. Yeah. So there are five fragrances. Five fragrances. Okay, do we know who did what? Yes, we do. Cool. So, and I've got strips here. Order, but let's see. So number one was done by Lucas Maffei. So Luca Maffei Luca did Maffei, number one. Sorry. Is it just called the number one? Just called number one. Okay. Yeah. So number one, let's do number, number one. one. Let's so this scent is supposed to be inspired by the Garden of Eden. Oh. What do you think about monarch but butterflies, by the way? I mean, as an insect, I think they're very beautiful. Are you familiar with the... They, there's a sanctuary of monarch butterflies in Pacific Grove. Oh, really? No, I didn't know there's that. There's a certain time of the year you can... Pacific Grove is down by Monterey in California. Mm -hmm. There's a certain time of the year you can go and they're all like oh, on trees. Wow. They travel oh, there. Lovely. Yeah, yeah, they're beautiful. Bugs. Ooh. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing, actually. It's lovely. Number so one. Scent of pure happiness, and I'm one for a happy fragrance. So wow, I love that. It is. I mean, I think the description is really apt. An elegant bouquet, fresh, subtle, soft, sublimating the natural beauty of flowers, adorning this real paradise. I'm so into I'm florals thinking. a lot lately. Yeah. This is just gorgeous. I mean, I think that's as accurate. It is an elegant bouquet. I get bouquet. I get rose. I get jasmine. But it's just very pretty and light. And feminine? Feminine, definitely, in my opinion, definitely feminine. I would want to wear this like a summer wedding. Mm. It's lovely. Truly gorgeous. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's number one. That's number one. All right, what's number two? So number two is also made by Luca Maffei. Okay. And um, this is based on the magical moment on the seaside under the rain. Oh. Yeah, I like that. I like the idea of rain. The seaside may be a little scary for well, me with aquatic yeah. touches. <laughs> well, it's just like the rhythm of waves. So I really like this concept because I love, you know, sitting on the beach and just watching the waves. Oh, wow. Really, since our, the ocean up here is a little scary to go in, but I just like watching it from afar. Totally. <laughs> oh, this is really nice, too. I really like this. Not too aquatic. No. In fact, not at all. Yeah, no. I was a little worried because I know, aren't you kind of iffy with aquatic fragrances? I've been getting better lately. Okay. This, this is beautiful. Yeah, it's really lovely. Wow. Okay. Yes. The perfection of smell melting into wet stone is what they say. Ah. Yeah. I get that. It is a oh wet God. fragrance. These are both great. Yes. The first one very feminine. The second one more masculine. Yeah. So what do we have next? Uh, number three which is the one by Stephanie Bakush. And um, it's the memory of a festive sunset with friends. Oh. That sounds nice. Again, inspired by times on the beach. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And again, when I said that, I was thinking of a bonfire and then it goes saying about a wooden fire. This is Stephanie Bakush, Whoa. by the way. I think you're going to like this one. I really like this one. And this one is uh, Luca Maffei. 
Or that's look of a thing. Smoky, sensual. Wow. Yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not one that's projecting a lot either. It's more subdued or reserved. Mm -hmm. But this is more of an intimate scent. Yes. Wow. Agreed. I'm impressed. Yes, me too. Are you? Yes, definitely. Wow. You know, these, you never know what you're going to get. I didn't have any like, preconceived yeah. notions, but these are all really great fragrances. Yeah, we haven't smelled these before. First impressions, yeah. and I'm, I'm totally wowed by them. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's number three. Number four, another one by Luca Maffei. So he did three of them. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh, I'm excited about this one. It's supposed to be a vibrant concert of petals. Sounds lovely. So, yeah, I'm excited. Love petals. Yes. Metal to the petal. Interesting. This last part says a magnetic rose potion without the rose. Ooh. Hmm. Also really lovely. Not my favorite. Really? No. I like that one. Let me see. It's that a bit one. metallic. Huh. I mean, it's not that it's bad. It's just not wowing me. I see what you're saying about the metallic. I still like it though. It does come out more and more. I'd have to see how it wears on the skin. Yeah. It's not something, you know, the first quick whiff, I didn't get it. It's getting better. And now, yeah. It's, a, it's like, it's very leathery too or something. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Yeah. My, the first two are my favorites. Third one is pretty good. This one I would want to wear. It's something that my nose keeps coming back to, and I don't know if it's for exactly what reasons, but I'm, I'm still optimistic about it. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's developing. Yes. Very nicely. So that's number four, mm -hmm. again by Luca Maffei. The first two was also by Luca Maffei, and then this, the third one was uh, Stephanie Bakush. So now we have Cecile Zorokian. Yes, and so this is inspired by Coupe de Food, or Love at First Sight, which I really like. Oh. Yes. And that's uh, Cecile Zorokian. Very spicy incense. A really lovely, I think it's a really lovely incense. Ooh. Yeah. It is all incense. Mm -hmm. It's very unique. It's not it's sharp. Sometimes incense comes off very sharp. Yeah. This is kind of like very developed, really mm -hmm. rounded. I'm surprised by this one. When I think of Love at First Sight, I thought it was going to be like a big floral or something like that. But I like this more. It's a little bit more subdued. Um, I like this one. But it, it might be my favorite of the five, I think. I'm, I love incense. You do? Yes. Oh, we should it's do the an one I would wear. I would, it's the one I would wear the most out of the five. I oh, can tell okay. that or the um, the very first one. I look good in the fay. Wow. Yes. Are we impressed? We're very impressed. Luxury. Definitely. Yeah. Classy. Classy, and I mean, what a solid line release. Five is a good amount. Sometimes you know when people come out with like ten fragrances at once, it's Ooh, very overwhelming. That's but I much. think five is a really great number, and they're so well done. Shall we resmell them again? Sure. So this one is the first one. Yes. Ooh. Wow. Very pretty. To me, it's like a very muguet fragrance. Do you get that? Yeah. Like Lily of the Valley. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Very feminine. Mm hmm So number two. Oh, I like this one. Yeah. So far, the first one, wow, just really wowed me. It's the still first nice. One the wows, first one, yeah. wows, yeah. Oh, the third one. Really nice. Cuddly. Yeah, it's a closer one. Mm -hmm. The fourth one's not bad. It's developing nicely. It's developed, yeah. This was the one that we thought was maybe too metallic at the beginning. Yeah. Right? No, but yeah, it's, it's getting a little too. bit more leathery, powdery. Yeah. That's a developed. It's not bad. No, I like no. it. I like it. And then number five. Let's see. Ooh, that's a great incense. That's a really yes. lovely incense. Wow. One and five are like really wowing me. Really? Yes. Really gorgeous. One, two, and They're all beautiful. Five. I think, yeah, but like for my personal preferences, I would absolutely wear one and five. I would wear one, two, and five. One, two, and five, yeah. yeah. Those are my favorites. One and five to be the top five. Top, top two. Yes. <laughs> um, so should we talk about the giveaway? We have one set of these fragrances to give away. Again, guys, this is very exclusive fragrances. Yes. Not a lot of people get a chance to smell them. Mm -hmm. They smell lovely. Really, we yeah. both loved one and two, and I also mm -hmm. like no one and five. Yes. We both like one and five. And we both like the whole line. I mean, there wasn't a stinger in the bunch. No, like, they were they all were, really good. They were really good. Yeah. To participate in the giveaway, let us know what your favorite butterfly is. <laughs> 
And also put down why you want to uh, participate in the giveaway. Mm -hmm. Why would you want to win? And which number of the fragrances, number one through five, sounds the best to you? And also, last but not least, this is a USA and European Union giveaway. So please put down your country, USA or European Union, and which country in the European Union. Uh, otherwise, guys, let us know if you have any questions for Le Monarch or The Monarch. If you have tried these, do you know them? Do you like them? Let us know. Put some comments down. Let's get a conversation started. Also, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Bye, guys.